Unit Two, Reading, Exercise Two. Follow your nose. Meet three people whose sense of smell has made a difference to their lives. A. Helen Keller, a famous activist, was deaf and blind herself. With an extraordinary sense of smell, she could identify people's jobs by the odor on their clothes. When a person passes, she said, "I get a scent impression of where he has been." For her, a smell can remind us of another time and place. B. James Bell has worked for a perfume company for over twenty years. He says, "To develop a superior sense of smell, you must train it like a concert pianist." After passing a smell test, James studied perfumery in France, where he learned to recognize about 2,800 synthetic and 140 natural materials. Since then, he has helped to create the world's favorite fragrances. C. Journalist Lucy Mangan has been anosmic since birth, so she can't smell anything, even the fragrances of roses. She has never tried different perfumes in the shop, as seventy-five to ninety-five percent of the food flavor comes from its smell. Meals haven't had much flavor. Although she can feel the different textures of lasagna, steak, or fish, they're all quite tasteless. Unit two, vocabulary and listening, exercise one. One, fantastic. Wonderful. Two, interesting. Fascinating. Three, tasty. Delicious. Four, scary. Terrifying. Five, horrible. Disgusting. Six, tired. Exhausted. Unit two, vocabulary and listening, exercises two and four. One. No, I haven't, but I've ridden an alpaca. You've ridden an alpaca, Nina? Seriously? When was that? Um, let me think. Yes, I rode the alpaca when I was six years old. Weren't you scared? What are they like to touch? Did it smell really disgusting? They are so soft to touch. It's incredible, and they don't smell bad at all. This was a really friendly alpaca. Friendly? Yes. It was on the farm of my parents' friends. It loved people. Whoa! Weird. Two. Um, I did a one hundred kilometer cycle ride with my dad last week, and I was totally exhausted after that. It's the furthest I've ever cycled. Ha!、Huh, that's amazing, Joe. I think the furthest I've ever cycled was to school when my mum's car wasn't working. So you've cycled three kilometers, Sam. It was about four kilometers, actually. And I was really tired after that. I could hardly walk. I am not a big fan of cycling, but I like climbing. Have you ever climbed a mountain? Three. I've eaten a few interesting things since we moved to Asia. Here, look at this. Definitely the most unusual food I've ever eaten. It smelled so bad. Well, that looks really weird. What is it? It's called a durian. It's a fruit. Durian? I've never heard of it. I ate some last year at a market in Singapore. You can't take it into buildings or onto trains or buses because it smells so bad. Ugh! Gross. Unit two. 
language focus. Exercise six. Have you been anywhere exciting recently? No, not recently. We went to a water park last month, though. Really? Did you enjoy it? Yes, it was awesome. What's the most amazing ride that you've ever tried? It was the roller coaster at Sun World Bana Hill. Have you tried it? No, I've never been there. Unit two, speaking, exercises one and two. Have you been to bowl you over the new bowling club? Actually, I've never been bowling. I've heard it's a bit boring. You've never been bowling. Seriously, let's try it next weekend. We can invite Laurie and Jack too. It doesn't sound much fun to me, but we'll see what they say. I'm hungry. Have you had lunch? No, I haven't eaten since breakfast. Let's have lunch together. What do you fancy eating? I don't know. Fish and chips, I suppose. Wait a second. There's a great restaurant really near here. Come on. Okay. Here it is. Can't we have fish and chips? Why not try something different? The food here is delicious. I think you'll enjoy it. Okay. I'll give it a try. Great. Unit two, speaking, exercise four. One. Have you been to bowl you over? Two. You've never been bowling, seriously. Progress review one, exercise four. How was your trip to Italy? It was really great. Italy is such a beautiful country. Did you spend a lot of time at the beach? A little, but the weather wasn't too good. It was only hot and sunny on the first day. Then it got colder and windy. Sometimes it even rained. What bad luck! It wasn't that terrible. We went sightseeing a lot. But we had to buy some new clothes first. I only took summer dresses, shorts, and short-sleeved tops. So what did you get? Luckily, I had my trainers with me, so I didn't need to buy any new shoes. I bought a baggy hoodie, a pair of jeans, and this pattern jacket. It looks nice. I like it. Thanks. I really enjoyed buying clothes in Italian shops. They've got a lot of beautiful smart blouses and skirts. My sister bought a plain white blouse and a tight skirt. She looks like a TV presenter when she puts them on. She promised to lend me the skirt for Sarah's birthday party next week. Great. Do you want to see some photos? Sure. This is my favourite one. We're all standing by the Trevi Fountain in Rome. I can see your dad and mum, but who's the woman in the colourful hat with your mum? <laughs> Are you kidding me? You don't recognise her. It's my sister, Amy. <laughs> She looks so different in the hat, black trousers, and black boots. Did you buy them in Italy too? Only the hat. Check out this next photo. This photo.